Okay, welcome everybody to another Friday Footfalls. Something very different today. This is a slightly different take on it. Um, I got this deck list directly from some a pilot at uh, LMS Prague over the weekend and um, by the name of Gia Como Bristow. Sorry, I'm probably butchering that pronunciation. Um, but um, yeah, it's a it, it is running Crashing Footfalls, but we are running the Blood Bay Marauder to try and cascade into it this time. So this is the two mana, um, has cas two mana three one has cascade as long as there are four or more card types as, as long as you have delirium. So we're playing some things to enable that. So we've got Street Wraith, which puts a creature in for free. Obviously, we're playing Fetch Lands. We've got some Surveil Lands to try and put things in. Um, a key card is Incubation in Con. Ruity, which puts a um, both a sorcery and an instant in and then um, the incubation on turn one you can try and it, it allows you to find blood brave marauder um, so really interesting take we're running force and subtlety these uh, being blue helps for the the count obviously we're running ley line and scion everyone uh, seems to be running that at the moment is is a very powerful powerful effect um, and then Leyline Binding, we get Orcish Bowmasters as well, so really interesting list, uh, and Carvu to round out the threats, Carvu just, just really really good. And then because we are running Bloodbraid Marauder as the Cascader of choice, um, we obviously get to run more of these these two mana spells, so we've got Orcish Bowmasters and Carvu in the main, and then in the side um, we've got things like a a Lavinia, Cast Into the Fire, Legion's End. Um, so yeah, we are able to play some of those. We also get Crime Punishment um, to, to deal with lots of like things like Yogmoth um, and and stuff like that. So yeah, really exciting list. Um, and yeah, congratulations to Giacomo who did very well. Um, so yeah, let's see see if we can make some rhinos this way. So big thanks to everyone for watching. Hope you're all doing very well wherever you're watching from. And a huge thanks to everyone that's subscribed to the channel. If you haven't, please do consider doing so. Um, as well as this regular Friday footfall slot, playing a lot of different modern and pioneer decks at the moment. So do look out for that if that's something you're after. Uh, as usual, please do consider putting in the comments any observations you got any plays you think could have could have done better because always always keen to discuss and and try and sit spot mistakes and and learn from them so so yeah let's um let's get into it with with blood braid rhinos right we're on the play which is nice uh so we have a ley line and we can suspend rhinos but we only have one land i think this is going to be oh we've got the street wraith to try and find a second land but yeah there's going to be a mulligan here okay now we have the scion gonna keep this one uh, just gonna go breeding pool suspend on one uh, what are we gonna bottom I think it might be the bow masters because we need all these lands to make domain for scion yeah I think we'll just get rid of the bow masters uh, so yeah, just lead with breeding pool, crushing footfalls, pass the turn. Can potentially binding on turn two. Opponent has thought seize. Overgrown tomb into thought seize. Don't know what this means. I've seen some people playing things like um, the rock again. Probably, yeah, I was going to say, probably takes the binding because they've got another turn to take the Draco if they want. Okay, well, Carvu is a very good draw. Um, so let's go and get. We could just play the Steam Bents, but then it's only a 3 3. But I kind of want to get black for this. Let me just check if we're running a black white land yeah so no black white land here so we can't get full domain so I think we just go vents carvu like I'm not expecting a 
bolt from an overgrown tomb deck but it could could be something like jund in which case we get really really punished so we're going to go and get white from forco black okay thought sees takes the draco island okay okay so um let's go arid mesa and then we'll surveil get a white surveil land uh so we've got lush portico yeah that's fine and we'll graveyard that one so that we can then draw discard with Carvu. Fix our draw a little bit. So yeah, we'll discard draw. Discard another Arid Mesa. Okay, that's a pretty good draw. So I'm just gonna do that now. Um, oh, we should have done that with blue in case, we, oh no, we can't find, yeah, it has to be creature, so. Spell Pierce, okay. Not sure what we're against. Thought Season Spell Pierce. Salt Eye Colors. Okay, they Swamp Cycle Troll for a Surveil Land. Lots of different colors here. Yeah, no real clue as to what they're on. Get to make rhinos next turn. Okay, so I think yeah, I'm just gonna discard draw. But making that a bit bigger. Let's cycle for two life. Okay, we find another one of these. Okay, so that's incubation. Holding up bread in case we find. Okay, we can't play the Scion. We can't play subtlety either. I'm gonna take the Scion, I think. Because then if we find a land. That we could have fetched instead. to make this a five, so it's kills in two turns. Don't know what the opponent has got in hand. Fable of the Mirror Breaker, sure. So we're gonna make some rhinos. Leyline binding is interesting. So I think what we're gonna do is just attack with Carvu and then we'll just draw discard the Scion. Discard the Scion. Okay, if I'm Blood Crypt. So do we just binding now? To be binding the fable, I think so. Just give the opponent fewer draws. This card has done so much damage. I suppose, yeah, the opponent thought he used this twice. They need a Wrath, which with double black isn't out of the question. Prismari come out. Oh, so could, hmm. 
Nope, still lost. Um, Prismari Command often played in creativity, but creativity, uh, yeah, I'd be very surprised if they were playing. They discard an Archon. Okay, so it is. They got Persist? Okay, so it must be some sort of reanimator. Um, I would imagine it's not creativity because they're running the troll. Okay. So, uh, we probably want all of these endurances. Um, and Mystical Dispute seems pretty good as well. I uh, could consider wear tear for the fable, but I don't think that's really what we want to do. What don't we like? So force is probably really good. Subtlety. I think subtlety can probably go. Well, we didn't see them play any creatures. Um, notably, we are running 61 in the main. How good is Bowmasters? Let's get into Fable and Prismari Kamar. Yeah, okay, so we'll keep that one in. Uh, Street Race, fine. Blood Braid is obviously good. So just want to make room for these two disputes, really. Maybe trim. But this was quite bad into Sp bell pierce but it is our way to get delirium I guess we are more likely to pitch an endurance maybe carve is really good as well because it connects our um, stuff put in the graveyard let's turn one street wraith maybe one bowmaster I think we want to keep the ley line scion stuff in. Right, another one lander with a ley line. We do have to mulligan this. Uh, this is pretty rough. We can turn one binding. Like if we rip any land, this is really good. Let's give it a go. So we'll keep and bottom the blood braid. We can surveil into a land as well, potentially. Uh, okay. So let's suspend. So the question is, do we upkeep Arid Mesa fetch? Okay, opponent goes for the bitter reunion, discarding the Archon, which is a bit scary. I think now we don't go for it because if we if we don't hit an untapped land, they go persist. They go persist Archon, attack with it, we lose the game. We're going to have to hold up binding anyway. It's whether we want to risk it. I think we need the land. I think we're going to lose if we don't find the land anyway. So um, let's just go and get, I guess, Thundering Falls. Doesn't really matter. Uh, graveyard, that one. Untapped land. Yeah, we do find it. Okay. Yeah, expecting a persist here. Thought sees persist is very strong. Okay, fable. 
don't know if I'm meant to, I don't think we're meant to binding now. No. We'd love another land. Okay, that is not what we wanted to draw. Okay, so I think here we're gonna go, um, if we go Bowmasters, we make a token for their Archon potentially. We could potentially shoot the Goblin. Yeah, let's, let's try it. And then next turn we can binding. Shoot the. Okay, they have unholy heat. Let's see, I had another archon and a land. We will block the goblin here. Okay, troll. I guess, yeah, persist makes much more sense because you can just persist the troll as well. Okay, opponent does attack. So yeah, I'll just block here. Okay, we draw the land, which is really nice. So let's just go, we know they've got unholy heat. So if they go Archon, they've got two Archons in the graveyard anyway. And if they, yeah, we'll just go this. Maybe we shouldn't have um, blocked with the Bowmaster token. But if they kill this, then we get to make Rhinos next turn with Blood Braid, potentially. Okay, looks like they might just be passing the turn. I think we'll surveil. Uh, graveyard that one which is also delirium this doesn't have haste does it no okay so we make some rhinos here spell pierce Pay for spell pierce. Okay. Attack with Scion, gain some life. Okay, let's cycle. In Kong. Incongruity can uh, deal with deal with an archon as well potentially. <laughs> Don't really want to rely on it for that, but uh, okay. So we gain a little bit of life. Opponent surveilling one. We put one on top, which is a bit scary. They've got three cards in hand. So if they go, uh, how much mana have they got? One, two, hmm. I guess the trouble is they've got the reflection as well. Um, so if they make an arc on here, they're gonna get, hmm, they're gonna get at least, they're probably gonna get, they're gonna get so many triggers because they, 
they've now got the reflection untapped. And they've got the bitter reunion, so it might even be that we have to binding the reflection. Pick your poison, sacrifice an artifact. Okay. Sacrifice. So they may have put that one on top. Yeah, this is the problem. So. They persist. If we go binding here, they get a, uh, they get two triggers. I think we have to let it happen. Discard Carvu probably, or is it just yeah? So he's probably just going to give everything haste. Hopefully he goes for it now. I can't imagine he will though. I think we have to, so we have to binding now. He makes it, uh, there's no way around this. trouble is we have to discard everything but at least we get rid of the actual the actual archon but they make a token we lose everything where uh, bin They hit us for nine. But at least this goes. But they've drawn a load of cards as well. Another bitter reunion. Binning another Archon. Not seen uh, Archons for a little while. Okay, endurance is interesting. So I think we just have to pass the turn. Fortunately, persist, unlike Gorio's Vengeance, is a sorcery. So we put a load of Archons back on the bottom. We did see Pick Your Poison. <laughs> Although they haven't got any, I guess, yeah, we saw the Overgrown Tomb. Ugh, Sacred Foundry. Um, I don't think I want to attack. I think I'm just gonna play the Sacred Foundry. So if we attack for three, it's worse than, yeah, like we're at five life. We got some good draws though. We got uh, Bloodbraid Marauder. We've got Scion. Um, Carvu would be fine. Hidetsugu. Okay. So he's going to exile our graveyard. A little bit surprised they brought that in, but it does stop. It, that now turns off our Bloodbraid Marauder draw.
and they will eventually make a huge is it legendary it's not so they can copy it with a reflection gonna need to find something to deal with that like a scion would be probably our best draw now mm, force of negation not the best is this a th oh I think it's a 3-3 three, three. so we can block with endurance Um, I think I'm just going to force this. Let me spell pierce, I'll dispute. They could easily have more spell pierce effects, but I want to get the most out of our cards. Mm, I guess I can also just make a copy end step and then attack us with everything. Cycle. Hmm. So they make a copy end step and then attack for lethal. Yeah. Okay. I mean, maybe we should make them do it, but um, writing's on the wall here. Okay, do we want to change anything? Um, don't think so. No, we'll just ship that back. Right, beyond the play. Uh, so we've got Ley Line, Scion, again only one land, but we've got Street Wraith and a land to try and find it. Uh, let's try it. <laughs> like, the Crashing Fable is obviously a little bit awkward, but yeah, I, th I think this is fine. Obviously we'd much rather have two lands here, like if the Street Wraith was a land, Okay, surveil, got a graveyard, that one. Just really need an untapped land. We've got two more looks, so we have three looks at it. I feel like we're more than likely to hit it there. Let them scry. I guess we don't need to cycle Street Wraith right away. All right. Come on, Street Wraith. Oh, come on. Okay, well, I don't know. Maybe that was me being, maybe that was a stupid keep. But I feel like, so we had one look from this, two from our draw step, three from Street Wraith, three looks. Our deck is about, what, 40% land? So, yeah, I think we're more likely than not to hit there. Okay, so we hit now. Um, question is, do I'm just going to slam the scion and not think about it too much. Remand. Okay, was not expecting, not expecting that. A reunion. We've got a persist in the graveyard. Could have thought sees. Yep, thought sees, but we've got double scion. Okay, 
so yeah, we'll just play the Scion here. Okay, we'll cycle looking for a land. Nope, so let's play the Scion. Print a 12. There's no Archon in the graveyard. Okay, Bitter Reunion. Oh, actually, no, don't auto yield because we've got the Force and we've got the, the blue card for it now. If they persist the troll, that's fine, we're just binding it. Okay. Not until next turn that we make rhinos. Attack with Scion. Guess we possibly could have. Oh no. I guess say we could have uh, Bowmastered in response to the Bitter Reunion or something, but. Fable is fine. So I'm just going to play out the Bowmasters now. the opponent could attack with everything here four five six probably don't though probably just attack with the scion okay another binding I think I'm actually going to binding the uh, token now that we've drawn another one, so we can attack with everything. Okay. Attack here. Maybe we're meant to attack. Okay, put the opponent to three. But uh, obviously, uh, yeah, we'll just put them to one. Because obviously, also, uh, they draw if they draw a card from Archon, potentially. They can't thought seize as well. Force the persist, and yeah, we get there. Okay, well, um, a lot of work obviously pulled by Scion and uh, Leyline in that matchup, but um, yeah, good to get the win. See you for round two. All right, easy mulligan here in round number two. And yep, this is better. So we'll keep and bottom. I think it's just a land. So this gets and goes and gets green. Ooh. Uh might just bottom the bow masters. Is this street wraith? It's a street wraith actually. Cause this needs to go and get red black. Yeah. So you can go and get red black. Oh I can't get red black. Ah well <laughs> maybe we'll I don't know. We'll suspend on one and then go and get Ooh, where's this tower, eh? Okay, Marauder's interesting. Um, let's do this. 
play the Karu on turn two. Okay, opponent finds as is mine. And a map. Okay, another flow strand, not the best draw. Let's get the Karvu down. So we'll get it has to be red. So it's either seam vents or sacred foundry. Sacred Foundry, I think. Play the Carvu. Being on the draw is um, annoying here. Okay, opponent does have to take a turn off to go and get Tron. <laughs> okay, so we'll probably just play. Um, Bowmasters out here. So we haven't got blue or black. Uh, so we could just get Xander's Lounge. I think, yeah, I think I'm just going to get Xander's Lounge. Make this a 5 5. We can't play the Bowmaster this turn. Uh, discard, discard, hallowed fountain, drop binding. So what we're hoping now is that, uh, I mean, yeah, what we're hoping now is that the opponent is on like a worm coil engine plan. Okay, one ring is also good. We'll probably just binding that. And then we'll disc we'll attack with both, discard draw twice. Notably we can't respond to the sphere activation with bowmasters. I think. Yeah, it's the star we can. Okay, they're gonna get a tower. Relic. Okay, so we're definitely getting rid of the Marauder. Okay, another Carvu. <laughs> so yeah, we'll um, attack with both uh, discard draw, and uh, we'll discard draw twice. Got the Marauder. Um, so we have to do that now, it's interesting. Um, I guess we'll keep. No, I think what we'll do is we'll discard here. Okay, and then we're binding the ring. And then we could just play another Carvu to ensure lethal next turn. I think that's what we'll do. Triple Carvu, so we've got 15 damage. The opponent has. Interestingly, the um, Cascade ability on Blood Brave Marauder is... Um, hopefully they're going to get Worm Coil here. Yeah, the Cascade ability is tied to the card types when you cast it, so they can't... If we put it on the stack, you can't exile the Graveyard... Well, you can't exile the Graveyard in response, but we'll still get the trigger. Sundering Titan... Okay... <laughs> That's pretty good. So destroy all our lands here. But then we can go attack with all the car 
Oh, Carvu becomes a zero zero. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, that was pretty good. We were hoping it was going to be Worm Coil there. But yeah, turn four, no, turn five, Sundering Titan. Being on the play would have been nice there, but I can't remember what we've got in the sideboard for Tron. So, what don't we like? Subtlety's fine, Leyline and stuff are fine. Bowmasters isn't amazing, but they do play the ring. We'll bring in the cast into the fire. Definitely both of the Vineyards. Definitely a Perseju. And then need to make some cuts. I don't think it's Leyline Draco. Uh, we could potentially trim a crashing footfalls and do we want things like wear tear or force of vigor they're not on many enchantments i wonder if we want force but instead of what subtlety is good that's good yeah i think we'll just submit that no, Bowmasters is good into exactly the ring. Well, I don't know. It's good into all their little manor artifacts as well. But I think we'll just go with this. Um, I think we keep this. <laughs> so then we can go Leyline, turn to Scion, and then hopefully find a blue card for Force. So let's go cycle, cycle, that's the blue card, so play Xander's Lounge and pass. Not going to force like a star or a map here or anything. Okay, let's play Scion. Opponent could play something like Pick Your Poison. So yeah, this one you can respond to with Bowmasters, but the other one you can't. Okay, Stirrings. Given that we can hard cast Force next turn. Okay. Uh, that's actually quite a good draw. Can deal with a worm coil. Okay, the opponent does have to fetch here. We'll force an oblivion stone. Okay, star is fine. Sphere even. Another sphere. Okay, so we can surveil. Lush Portico gives us still domain if the ley line is removed. Uh, graveyard that one. And then we can do the same thing again. Try and find ourselves. Uh, we'll graveyard that one. Just gives us domain. Okay, lay down binding is a decent draw. Shock this in so we can hard cast subtlety. We let something like a worm coil resolve. Khan. Um, I think I'm just gonna, yeah, that's just cast subtlety. They're gonna put it, they put it on the bottom. The one ring, we could force that.
no I think we let that happen and then we can go binding hold up force next turn surprised they put the Khan on the bottom okay land so let's go incubation Ooh, okay so we could take Marauder which makes Rhinos or we could just take Lavinia each opponent can't cast non-creature spells with mana value greater than the number of lands they have notably non-creatures or we could take the Marauder but if we Marauder Trouble is if they can Hmm. Is it just Street Wraith? Lavinia does pitch to force. Don't know, let me know what you take. It so Lavinia stop it doesn't stop Khan so they play Khan and then they could get Worm Coil but I think we want a 4 so it might just is it weird to take Street I'm gonna, gonna take Street Wraith I think for a redraw okay but Seiju is a fantastic draw uh, so let's go Binding take the Ring I <sighs> I don't think I want to besage you yet because if we besage you we um, we give them a plains a, a forest and if we hit the wrong land and they just play a land we haven't got force up uh, yeah let's go force here hopefully they haven't got veil of summer I don't know, maybe we were meant to do something different here. Yeah, because if we hit the tower there. Oh, Sundering Titan. Say so Armageddon -ness. That's disgusting. So yeah, that, the vineyard wouldn't have stopped that. Maybe we were meant to. I don't know. Let's say we do that. We hit them. If we hit the mine, we're fine. But okay, so we can play the foothills. Attack with everything because they're both flying. Okay. Well, we're at the mercy of the opponent's top deck here. Well, the one ring is a pretty good top deck. Have we got any surveil lands left? No, we don't. So we can't block. I'm surprised the opponent didn't attack there. Worm coil. Okay. So, uh, Worm Coil's okay because it would never deal damage because we can just go block, block. Map is fine. Okay, so they've got all the, they've got doubles of all the lands now. Okay, so Mesa means Besaju is live. So they'll lose a life to the ring. 
guess chaining ring into ring is not good. Okay, but they can't attack. Well, they can attack, but like we just go, these have got first strike. So we go block, block. Yeah. So opponent doesn't gain any life. Oh, I guess they can, oh, if they besage you, okay, they besage you the binding. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they besage you the binding to get the ring back. Okay. Bit surprised at that. Um, oh, we'll get a forest. Oh, I think they did the wrong one. Yeah, opponent took the wrong ley line, but we were okay because we could um, we could besage you the. Um, yeah, we could besage you the worm core before damage anyway. Hope this isn't oblivion. Oh, oblivion stone. That probably wins the game. Um. So we could besage you the titan, but that's no good. Oh, I shouldn't have got a forest. Uh, okay. So they can't target either of these. Okay, so opponents at four. So we need to get, can we get blue at all? So you can get breeding pool. So breeding pool, sacred foundry. No point in besaging. Well, there's a carvu. Okay, opponent goes to three. We're not running lightning bolt or anything. Stirrings for Ulamog probably wins the game. Yeah, we're not running any of the... Uh, Lavinia's good. Um, okay, Khan is probably good enough. Uh, they can't fetch Sundering Titan anymore. Okay, apparently they have another Sundering Titan. Um, oh, and that kills the Carvu. Are they running double Sundering Titan these days? Oh, I guess because everyone's running Domain, Sundering Titan seems like a something they want to do. Um, okay, well, we'll, I guess we go play this pass. Right, hopefully the opponent just dies to the ring, because seven, oh, it's exactly, so they attack us down to 14. Oh, no, that's okay, they attack us down to 14. Attack down to 14, they go to 1. Well, they're still dead to that. Don't know what else they can get with Khan. Haywire might. Uh, that can do, yeah, their own ring. Sure. Well, that was rough. Like, Sundering Titan seems very well positioned at the moment. 
killing Carver as well is just pretty bonkers. I thought oh, I thought we were re I thought we were really in that one, um, but yeah, double sundering Titan just gets us. Okay, well, see you for round three. Right, we're on the draw here, but this hand is okay. So we can go turn one, suspend rhinos. Island preordain. Okay, so that's not a bad draw. I think we go and get overgrown tomb here. I think we run an overgrown tomb. Yeah, because then we can go. Yeah, let's go overgrown tomb. Suspend. Well, that allows us to get all our colours at least. How afraid are we of Blood Moon? I think now that we've drawn another fetch land especially, I think scared enough that I'll probably fetch a basic island here. Hedge maze. Lotus Field, okay. Okay, so we're no longer afraid of Blood Moon. Vizier of Tumbling Sand, so this is a... Uh, not sure what this is. <laughs> I'm just gonna get a breeding pool here, or Steam Bents actually, probably. Yeah, Steam Bents. Might as well Bowmaster. Shoot the opponent. So this Lotus Field etc is uh, what you might see in Pioneer. So I'm trying it in Modern by the look of it. Oh, Twiddle Storm is a thing. Haven't seen it for a long time though. It's four mana. Yeah, there's Twiddle. Six mana. Seven mana. Underworld Breach. Sure. <laughs> Just winning the game on turn three. It's a lot of mana. Wish. That's probably enough. Uh, okay, so they can just tome scour themselves forever and then win the game with Thassa's Oracle uh, no because they need uh, they got the mana yeah so they just do all of this we don't have anything I guess if we had a blue card subtlety might as well see what they've got. Echoing Truth. They're playing the ring. Or they can just play, probably just play Grape Shot from the graveyard if they find it as well. But it'd be good to see what their win con is. Tame Scour. Not seen this list for a long time. Another breach. Looks like they might have whatever card they need in hand, or they're just going to wish for it. Be yeah, able we'll to see what the wink on is. Two cards in library.
hover over the concede button, is it just grape shot? Wish. I'm assuming they've just got it here. Well, they don't have any red mana. So, they, but they can just dream script from the graveyard. Okay, it is Thassa's Oracle, but they probably have Grape Shot as well. Right. So, <laughs> yeah, we get turn three on the play on the draw. So, we definitely want the Endurances and the the, the Vineyards. Um, and the disputes. Uh, what don't we like? Binding's not very good, I don't think. Um, Bowmaster's fine. I think we want all our threats. We want the forces. Subtlety. I don't think that's great. Do we trim on subtleties? Yeah, because like it deals with the Thassa's Oracle, but then if they just go, yeah, I think we'll cut all the subtleties. Like if they're at that point, they probably w they probably have a way to get around subtlety. Okay, well, let's see. St I don't think we've cascaded into rhinos yet. I think we had the opportunity to maybe against Tron. Actually, looking back, I can't remember. Oh, I can't remember what the Tron one was. I think we chose to force instead. Um, right, so we go land, creature, potentially instant. Yeah, I think this is fine. Dump this out. And then... Are they, gonna, are they likely to play a blue card on one? I don't think so. So I think we can just go Arid Mesa, go and get a fetch, go and get a surveil land. Um, I'm happy to put that one on top, I think. Preordain. So we've got two card types in the graveyard, but drawing, discarding with Carvu can also help us put rhinos onto the field. What did the opponent do with their scry? Two on the bottom. Let's play the flooded strand, play a Carvu. Pass the turn. Then this turn, see, it depends what we draw, but I think actually we'll go, okay, they might be looking for lands. So what we'll do is we'll go land, attack with Carvu. It really depends what we draw. Okay, this time they go two on the bottom again. I think we'll actually probably just take, okay, we draw another land, so actually now I'm just gonna go Attack with Carvu, draw, discard. Discard, draw. Discard, breeding pool. Let's get land. Carvu again. And then we can surveil with flooded strand. this okay there's Lotus Field I'll probably dispute a yeah just dispute that So their one mana is kind of awkward. Um, could surveil here. Let's see what we draw. Bowmaster. Got 
creature in the graveyard anyway. Let's attack with both. I think I'm just going to discard draw twice because we want to find uh, like force. Uh, discard the crashing footfalls. Cycle. Right, so we could. <sighs> this is a, 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 an annoying spot again because they are at five, which is. So we could go Marauder, make Rhinos, and then they're. But either one of these lethal, and I think Bowmasters. I think I'd rather just hold up Bowmasters. We're really looking for force there. Or another dispute would have been fine. Lavinia. Breach. Okay, so if they go for preordain. Um, sure. They have four mana. Five cards in hand. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that just does it, right? Because they can keep tome scouring themselves, which pays for more stuff. Don't even think they need to draw cards. They've exiled all of their. They can just go and get Thassa's Oracle. Uh, to be just concede. I don't think they're going to draw five cards. Yeah, uh, so fine. <laughs> It's probably not deterministic here. Well, with Tome Scour it probably is. Mill 5. They can just keep doing that over and over and over again. Oh, that's really annoying. Right, we drew discarded quite a lot to try and look for a force or... Yeah, anything. But um, unfortunately, wasn't to be. Okay, well... Um, yeah, losing to two pretty unfair decks, Tron and Twiddlestorm. Um, yeah, let's see if we can can bring it back. Right, keeping a um, keeping a good opening hand here, I think, on the play. Shock in the land. Suspend the footfalls and say go. Can force something here if we need to. Spy bluff. Okay, can't force that one. Okay, so spend. Um, okay, so let's cycle. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> Deals with Ragavan at least. Oh, again, should. Probably not yield because we can force using this. Opponent just main phase bolts us. Not sure why. Why? I'm not sure why they do it in that order either. Would they not? Dragon Drake's Channeler then surveil with the bolt. OK, 
Okay, so what do we think now? We could, let's start by attacking. Gain some life. So we could either incubation, look for a creature, or we could hold up force. I think I'm just gonna incubation. Um, just take the Carvu, shock this in, play Carvu. Pass the turn. Can't see the opponent getting out of this very easily. Iteration's fine. And then after this one, we've got <clears throat> get to hold up force. So yeah, it looks like just Merc Tide bidding a shredder. Yeah, we get to potentially attack with Kavu here, exile, probably exile the shredder. Okay, opponent fetches after combat. the channel there. Okay, so we can just double block here. <laughs> um, uh, sorry, we, they can double block, but that's fine. Uh, we'll cycle the Street Wraith pre-combat. Subtlety is nice. Attack with everything. Uh, we'll go exile a card. It's hardest for them to get a shredder in the bin, so just exile that one. Shrink the Dragon's Rage Channelers. Gain a whole bunch of life. Opponent could go for a Merc Tide. We'll try and subtlety it. Oh, that's a good point. Probably should have exiled expressive iteration because it would have made it harder for the opponent to make a huge Merc Tide. It would have only been a four, whereas now it's going to be a five, which is a bit awkward. Hmm. Although you do have to tap out for it. Okay, iteration is okay. Okay, main deck Magus. So they can't now, yeah, I think they should be fine because even if they find a land, so they find the Merc Tide, but we're just gonna subtlety it and then win the game. Like even without that um, subtlety, you know, they play this, these haven't got Delirium anymore, we attack with everything, they block the Scion, well actually we couldn't attack with everything, actually we might not be able to attack, don't know, it would have been close, right, <coughs> Merc Tide Regent, Bowmasters are good, um, I think we want the ley line stuff. I don't want the force. Take those out for mystical disputes. I do want endurance. I need to cut two things though. Um, trim a street wraith. Actually, trim a couple of street wraiths because they're likely to pitch endurance. Did see a Magus of the Moon. So, might want to fetch around that one. Right, well, we have the. I think we're going to keep this. 
Like we can surveil a couple of times. Um, like if they go Ragavan, we can potentially Bowmasters it. Hope they don't have a Ragavan here. Okay, they don't. That's really good for us. Well, we rip Scion, which is nice. Um, I'm actually going to put that on top. I think finding a land is good here. In, especially in the face of Blood Moon. Let's play it and pass. Not going to run Scion straight into a counter spell. We'll just run out the Bowmasters here though. Okay, Spell Snare. Okay, so now we'll go shock this in. Go and get, yeah, we'll grab a forest, play the scion. If they go counter spell, we'll dispute. Okay, well that resolves, which is unexpected. one on top bolt us which is fine oh okay so bolt yeah so they must have a merc tide uh that's fine like if they go land if they go fetch land merc tide we can just dispute Dragon's Rage. Hopefully at some point we can go Endurance. Let's cycle here. Carvu. Okay, bolting us is good. Oh, maybe I was meant to. I think we're meant to just bowmasters now. Although, or are we? I think it's actually endurance. But the throwing of bolts indicates that they've got Merc Tide. Surveil. I guess um I guess maybe we're meant to endurance pitch carvu. We still can do that. Like endurance pitch carvu bowmaster the channeler. And then we can also hold up this. I think that's probably better. This also plays around subtlety. Yeah. And then we just bowmaster the Dragon's Rage Channeler. The opponent's got one card in hand versus our we'll have a lot of life. And yeah, they just they can't come back from that. So good to get the win versus Merktide. Um we haven't actually I don't think we've attacked with any rhinos yet. <laughs> so um, we're two and two. See you for round number five. Right, last round.
Um, I think this hand's fine. We can dig for a creature and also get almost delirium. Um, so we could either play a scion on turn two, but do we want to suspend? Arid Mesa. So if we go Xander's Lounge and then fetch Temple Garden, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, Pennant also fetches Xander's Lounge. Don't know, maybe we we're meant to suspend there. I don't know, we couldn't cast anything on turn two then. I think I'm just going to go for a Scion here. We could... Mm, we could suspend and cast this. No, let's go Scion. They could have Counterspell. But putting a artifact in the graveyard isn't too bad. Okay, they have subtly pitching force of negation. <coughs> okay. Um, I think we'll put that on. Oh, I meant to uh, pre <laughs> press the wrong button. Meant to put that on top. But we'll take the two for one, and we've got some good stuff to do. Like next turn, we could have gone this and this and one of these and that should have been really nice okay it looks like rhinos but we do have the force uh what are we pitching i think it's just another force Maybe we're meant to keep force. Okay, opponents conceded. They haven't seen our rhino plan yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, opponents actually just conceded from the match. So um, yeah, force of negation doing doing good work. Um, what do we think of the deck? So we didn't. I, I don't actually recall ever cascading into the rhinos. I, I think there were times when we could have done, but quite often. I mean, a lot of the games were just one through leyline um, scion, which is a very powerful. Carvu also a very powerful card. I did quite like this just as a card, you know. Um, it pitches subtly, pitches the force, but it's also one mana dig for a creature. Wasn't too bad because it lets you find your carvus and stuff. I guess you're expected to cascade less because you're only running four cascaders. Um, I guess we could run some of the three mana ones, cascading into Bowmasters or this, but if you cascade into this and you haven't got Delirium, that's just awful. Um, but yeah, yeah, it, it seems sweet. But I think I'm gonna, if I'm gonna be playing rhinos, I think I'm gonna stick to the, um, the more traditional four, uh, eight, three mana cascaders. But um, I thought it was worth a try, and I hope you, I hope everyone enjoyed. Do let me know what you, what you thought. If you've got any improvements, suggest to the deck or whatever. Um, and yeah, we'll see you again soon. Cheers.